few days ago, Disney released the Droid Depot app, which lets you control your droid from Galaxy's Edge with a smartphone or a tablet. Um, and what's interesting about that app is it uses Bluetooth to communicate with the droid, which is a little bit different from how the stock remote control talks to the droid. And because it's using Bluetooth, we can listen in on the conversation, we can figure out what commands the app is sending to the droid, and then we can get rid of the app and send our own commands to the droid. And what I have here, this is a website, droid.bap.dev. This is a site that was created by BAP on the Galaxy's Edge Discord server. And it uses the Web Bluetooth API to connect to your droid via Bluetooth. I believe this only works in Chrome. I don't know what other browsers support uh, Web Bluetooth. Um, so if your browser doesn't support Web Bluetooth, you can install Chrome and this should work. Uh, my droid is on, the controller is off, and I'm going to hit connect to droid. It sees the droid and I hit pair. And it doesn't connect. Why doesn't it connect? Probably because I've been playing around with this before I hit record. So I'm going to turn the power off of the droid here and then I'm going to turn it back on. And let's try it again. Please work this time. No. Why would you work? Why would you ever want to work? And I hit record. So I'm going to turn that off for a second and let the electrons fall out of the droid. Hopefully then when I turn it back on, it'll play nice and pair. Um, so this is pretty cool. This, this shows the potential of what we could do. Um, we could create our own interface, our own controller, and we could add functionality that we discover while sending random commands to the droid that perhaps is not built into the Droid Depot app. So right now what we're doing in the Makerspace channel on the Galaxy's Edge Discord server is we are looking at Bluetooth logs from CowKitty and looking and using this app from... Uh, BAP. We're also using a lot of research done by Russ to work out a list of commands that we can use with the droid. I thought I'd show a couple just to give you an idea, but okay, now I'm starting to think it's the tablet here and not, not the droid. But I'm going to leave all of this in because, there we go, now we're paired. Because you're probably going to run into similar problems, so it's it's worth showing the troubleshooting it took to get this thing connected. Anyways, the current version of this site just lets you play a few sounds. probably turn your droid into a, a music machine. Uh. Maybe lay down some fat beats. But uh, what I'm more interested in is discovering all the other commands that might be available. So to do that, I need to be able to send just raw, random bytes to the droid. And BAP was very kind to add in a double secret feature that nobody knows about that gives me advanced mode where I can now type in bytes in hexadecimal format that I will that, that the thing will then send to the droid so for example uh, who do I want to send let's try um, 20 oops 27 uh, 42 0 F 44. 44, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, run on droid. And that's going to play an audio clip from the first group of audio clips in the droid. So if you have watched any of the droid personality chip making videos, I talk about how all the audio clips 
uh, are grouped together, so there's like four or five in each group. This is a command that lets you specify an audio group and it will play a sound from that group. So if I hit it again, it'll be a different sound, but from that same group. Now what's really interesting about this particular command is I can specify other audio groups, such as, for example, the blasters. And another thing I could specify is a group that has an audio clip in it that's never been heard before. It's an audio clip that sounds like a motor. Um, and from my experimentations, both in, in looking at the personality chip structure, which is how I knew that this clip was there, and how the commands have been working in, to trigger that uh, clip, I believe that that was supposed to be an accessory. At one point, there was going to be some R unit, R unit accessory that was going to have that noise or something similar. but that accessory was never made and support for it apparently doesn't exist because we have several people, including myself, have tried sending different resistor values into the accessory port on the side to try and trigger it and so far no luck. But uh, now you can hear that sound through your droid with this app, which is kind of cool. So you want your droid to do more probably than just make noises. You probably want it to move. Uh, let's see, I need to find my cheat sheet here and figure out, there we go, the next command I'm going to send it is 25, oops, 0, 0, 0, C, 42, 0, 1, 0, 2. There are a set of pre-programmed routines built into the droids uh, that combine rotating the head and playing a sound. These are the routines that are being used when your droid reacts to a beacon. And there's a different set of routines for BB and R units. I'm playing just the R unit ones right now. Um, but one of them, I'll just do it this way. One of the routines I thought was kind of interesting, which you might find interesting as well. I'm going to run this routine. I want you to see if you can figure out what the routine is uh, from or what it's used for. I'll tell you right now it's not for reacting to a beacon. And then once it finishes, I'll tell you exactly what it's for. That is the animation, and by animation I'm talking about the combination of the head movements and the lights blinking. Uh, that's the animation that plays when your droid is paired or activated uh, for the first time in the, the activation bay in Droid Depot. I thought that was kind of cool to discover that. There is a different one that for the, for the BB units, and uh, that I thought was pretty cool. I'll just try one more. So there are a lot of other commands that we're still working on that we've that we found and there's probably more commands to be found. Um, it's still we're still very much in the early stages of discovery here. Uh, but we're we're all we're all working on it in again in the makerspace channel on the Galaxy's Edge Discord server. There will be a link in the description below. You can join the Discord server and hang out and see all the fun stuff that we're doing. Um, and I think that's it for now. Just a it's really just a preview of of what we can do and and maybe of things to come. So come on by, hang out with us and. Send random bytes to your droid and potentially break it. Or don't use this advanced mode 
let me and a couple other foolish people do it and potentially risk breaking their droids until we figure out all the commands and make a pretty interface. And then you don't have to worry about breaking your droid. Cool? Cool.